Fra Jean Parisot de Vallet was a French nobleman and 49th Grand Master of the Order of Malta, from 21 August 1557 to his death in 1568. As a knight hospitaller, joining the order in the Langue de Provence, he fought with distinction against the Turks at Rhodes. As Grand Master, Vallet became the order's hero and most illustrious leader, commanding the resistance against the Ottomans at the Great Siege of Malta in 1565, sometimes regarded as one of the greatest sieges of all time. Early life He was born into the noble Vallet family in Quercy, southwestern France, which had been an important family in France for many generations. Various members having participated in the Crusades. Jean Parasote's grandfather, Bernard de Vallet, was a knight and king's orderly, and his father Gillet was a chevalier de France. Jean Parasote was a distant cousin of Jean Louis de Nogret de la Vallet, first Duke of Eponin. Although his birth year is usually given as 1494, both chroniclers of the Great Siege of Malta, Francisco Balbier di Correggio and Hippolito Sanz, say he was 67 at the time, thereby implying that he was born in 1498. In his History of the Order of Saint, John, the 18th century historian Abbe Vertit indicates that Vallet was indeed the same age as both Suleiman I and Lala Kara Mustafa Pasha, which would mean that he was actually 70 years old at the time of the siege. Little else is known about de Vallet's early life, early career and rise within the order. De Vallet joined the order when he was 20 years old in around 1514, and he never returned to France or his family estates from that day on. Jean de Vallet was present during the Great Siege of Rhodes in 1522, and accompanied Grand Master Philippe Villiers de Lisle Adam. After the order's expulsion from Rhodes by the Ottoman Turks under Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent, after the loss of Rhodes, the order was granted the Maltese Islands and Tripoli by Emperor Charles V. In 1537 Vallet became governor of Tripoli, where he tried to restore order within the vulnerable city. In 1538 he was imprisoned in the Gozo prison for four months after attacking a man. In 1541 Vallet was involved in a naval battle against Abdurrahman Kustali, in which he was wounded and his galley, the San Giovanni, was captured. The Vallet was taken as a galley slave for a year by Barbary pirates under the command of Turgut Race but was later freed during an exchange of prisoners. In 1554 he was elected Captain General of the Order's Galleys. This was a great honour to the Lang of Provence, as throughout most of the Order's history, the position of Grand Admiral was usually held by a Knight Grand Cross of the Italian Lang. In that capacity he won a name that stood conspicuous in that age of great sea captains and was held in the same regard as the Chevalier Mataran Romegus, one of the greatest Christian maritime commanders of the age. In fact both sides had extremely talented sailors. If Valet, Romegus and Wander Austria could be considered the best commanders that the Christian forces could bring to the sea, the forces of Islam were able to call on the equally outstanding maritime and leadership skills of admirals such as Barbarossa and Dragut. De Vallet was described by Abbé de Brantholme as being a very handsome man, speaking several languages fluently including Italian, Spanish, Greek, Arabic and Turkish grandmastership. In 1557, upon the death of Grandmaster Claude de la Sengel, the knights, mindful of the attack that was sure to come, elected Vallet to be Grandmaster. In 1560 he formed an alliance with the Habsburg Empire to reconquer Tripoli, but the expedition resulted in a Christian defeat at the Battle of Jabbar. Despite this the Order's galleys were able to rescue several other Christian vessels, and later on in his reign, the Valet greatly strengthened the Order's navy. Great Siege of Malta He fought and successfully repulsed the Turks at the Great Siege of Malta in 1565, in which the vastly outnumbered Christians held out for over three months against an Ottoman force containing no less than 30,000 soldiers including the Janissaries, as well as the Sultan's fleet of some 193 ships. 
the battle saw the fall of Fort St. Elmo after about a month of fierce fighting, but the order managed to hold out in Burgu and Sengli until her relief force arrived and the Ottomans were defeated. As a result of the order's victory he gained much prestige in Europe, but he declined the offer of a cardinal's hat in order to maintain independence from the papacy. This has been attributed to his sense of modesty and his humility as a warrior monk, building of a letter and death. After the Great Siege, he commissioned the construction of the new city of Aleta in 1566, laying the first stone with his own hands. This took place on the slopes of Mount Cybras, where the flower of the Turkish army had died whilst trying to storm Fort St. Elmo, which the Turks thought would fall within three or four days, but which, due to the bravery of the defenders, held out for thirty days. The city named after its founder, Humilissimus of Atas Valletta, became known as the most aristocratic and exclusive fortress in Europe, a city most often referred to as Superbasima, the most proud. Valletta remains the Maltese capital to this day. The valet suffered a stroke while praying in a chapel, and died soon after on 21 August 1568, exactly 11 years after he became Grand Master. The valet never saw the completed city of Valletta. His tomb can be found in the crypt of the conventual church of the order, situated within the walls of Valletta. The inscription on his tomb, which was composed by his Latin secretary, Sir Oliver Starkey, the last knight of the English Lang at the time of the Great Siege, states in Latin, Here lies La Vallet, worthy of eternal honour, he who was once the scourge of Africa and Asia, and the shield of Europe, whence he expelled the barbarians by his holy arms, is the first to be buried in this beloved city, whose founder he was, personal life. The valet has been referred to as one who never broke his vows but it has been claimed that he had a mistress while in Rhodes called Catherine nicknamed Grec, and that he had an illegitimate son from her who was called Barthelemy de Vallet. Documentary evidence has been found by Bonello that proves Barthelemy was legitimatized in 1568 by a decree by the King of France. Claims have also been put forth that de Vallet had at least another daughter, Isabella Guisconi. After a presumed affair with the wife of a Rodioke nobleman of Florentine descent, Isabella later married a Florentine gentleman Stefano Buonacorsi, but he murdered her on 31 July 1568, sometime after their marriage. After the murder Buonacorsi escaped the islands with Isabella's wealth and was never heard from again. Legacy the valet is well known for being the Grand Master who won the Great Siege and founded Valletta, a street in the town of Naka as well as the flagship of Virtua Ferries MB Jean de la Valette are both named after him. The valet was also featured on Maltese stamps, coins, banknotes and telecards a number of times. Jean de Vallette Square in 2012, a square was inaugurated in Valletta named Piazza Jean de Vallette which also features a statue of the Grand Master. The statue is 2.5 meters high and was cast in bronze by the local sculptor Joseph Chet Cutter. In the statue de Vallette is shown armor and holding Vallette's plan in one hand and a sword in the other. For many years, the widely accepted version of the Grand Master's surname was de la Vallette. However, during the unveiling of the statue at Piazza Jean de Vallette in November 2012, judge and historian Giovanni Bonello stated that the Grand Master always signed his name as de Vallette without the la. A week later, Des Irave on La Vallette Saint Georges, a descendant of the Grand Master, stated that the family name was de la Vallette, not de Vallette, and since then, a dispute has started as to what his name actually was. Members of the various branches of the Vallet family actually used both versions at the time, but the Grand Master himself never used the La. In fact, all 138 coins and 19 medals minted by the Order during de Vallet's reign show the names de Vallet, de Valletta or just Vallet. 
Bonello additionally stated that the La possibly originated since the city of Valletta was commonly called La Valletta, so people started including the La and sometimes the double L in the Grand Master's name. The name de Vallet is now used in Malta, although many still refer to him as de la Vallet due to the collective memory. The order's successor, the Sovereign Military Order of Malta, called the Grand Master Fra Jean de la Vallette Parasote. In literature, due to his key role in holding Malta during the siege of 1565, the Valet has appeared as a main and supporting character in several works of literature, Angels in Iron, an historical novel by Nicholas C. Prata. The Valet is the main character and is featured prominently throughout the book. Ironfire, an epic novel of war and love, an adventure novel by David Ball. The Valet is a supporting character. The Religion, a novel by Tim Willocks. De Valet is a supporting character. The Course of Fortune by Tony Rothman. De Valet is a supporting character, with surname named De Valet and portrayed according to recent historical evidence.